Now joined by Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford. Uh, Joey, we saw you were in the top 10 there in first practice, uh, settling in at ninth. How was the uh, car out there? The car's not bad. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it's as good as where we were last year in the spring here, but um, yeah, I feel like we've uh, got some decent speed in our car. Track was definitely picking up a lot of speed towards the end of practice uh, when, when the uh, cool tires were out there and everyone was making mock runs and picking up a lot of the rubber that laid down. So the track was picking up a good bit of speed, uh, which should give us a pretty good read on what it's going to be like in, uh, in actual qualifying here later on. So uh, I feel like Shell Penzo Ford's got speed in it. I think we had a good shot at the pole. Um, you know, we'll just... Uh, we can see what happens. You have three rounds here, so it's it's, it's challenging. Um, you know, see, you you're gonna run more than one lap, I would guess. If you can make it in one lap, that'd be great. But most likely, you're gonna have to run more than one lap in each session. Uh, so I think that'll be interesting to see how many laps people put on their tires, and um, you know, just kind of where you guys are towards the last run and keeping up with your adjustments. All right, we'll open up for questions. Just raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Uh, we'll start with Jeff up here in the front. Jeff Clark from USA Today. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, you didn't have the long run speed, but your car was better on the short runs, and you got a good, uh, the cautions fell the right way at the end for you to take advantage of that. Um, with, with that being said, is it when, like, when there's a lot of tire fall off, like here, um, is it more about like what the driver's doing or a car setup? I mean, it, is it about the driver conserving his tires for the long run, or is the car, the way the car handles do that? You know what I mean? Both. Um, both for sure. I think the way the uh, how hard the driver drives and, and, and how aggressive they are in restarts um, in the first few laps of run definitely comes into play late in the run. Um, and then also, you know, your setup. Your setup has a big effect in that also. Um, and now with a driver adjustable track bar, uh, that's going to also change the game a little bit too on, on kind of uh, where you want your balance to be and how that's going to affect your long run speed. So you got to have that in mind when you're making adjustments too. So, um, you know, it's probably the majority is the driver probably on how how hard he runs to, to what the effect will be later on. Um, but, you know, it takes both. You know, I mean, it's it's, it's probably 60-40 or something like that. Driver has more effect in, in, that, uh, in that department. Is it the tire falling off more this year than last year's team? I think it's falling off a little bit more. It's kind of hard to say. Um you know, it's always hard to practice here because every time you go out there, you lose a tenth. Then you go lose another tenth. And it's like, does it change any better? Well, we're going slower, you know, no matter what. So it's kind of hard to figure out um, what is an actual better change or not because you can't put tires on each time so you go out there. So it's kind of hard to uh, get the, a clean read on adjustments. But the tires are, are falling off uh, a fair amount, um, which is pretty normal for here. I don't feel like it's any different, more or less, than what we typically have. Um, you know, usually by the end of a run, we can't put the throttle all the way down, down the front straightaway. So I think it'll be the same way when it comes to tomorrow night. Go to Sean in the back. Joey back here. Sean Robertson, CBS 6 here in Richmond. You guys uh, dealt with a significant rain delay last week in Bristol. They're calling for rain uh, tomorrow night here. How does that affect your strategy and or your mood when you're dealing with a significant rain delay or the possibility of rain? Well, I hope it goes better than last week. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's it's tough a lot of times because you, you you still have your whole routine in the morning that you go through to get ready for the race and uh, your appearances and drivers meeting. You do all your stuff and then and then you sit and wait. Uh, and then um, you know, at that point, you, you start to relax again. You kind of it just changes a little bit. You, it's like any other athlete. You get kind of you get in your mode. You do the same thing every week before the race or before a game. Um, and when it rains, it kind of throws you off a little bit. Um, but usually, by the time you get back in the car, it give you enough warning that the race is about to start, and you get back in the car and you you, know, you kind of get your head back straight again, and uh, off you go. So usually, it's not that big of, a, of an effect for for what we do. Yeah, you, Michael Phillips, Richmond Times Dispatch. You, you mentioned getting caught up in the rain last week. Do you guys? have any input as to, to whether you go or not when it's a little bit slick and do you have any personal preferences on that personal preferences as dry <laughs> that's that's what we shoot for uh, i think last week everything went fine I, I actually the track was dry we didn't have any issues um you know obviously the rain was coming when, when we crashed but it was still okay and um you know it's just uh you know it, it, 
NASCAR does ask the drivers a lot of times while we're rolling around there to to give it, you know, give a thumbs up or thumbs down or or, or tell our spotters what what we think about the track. Um, but they typically do a great job on, on making sure the track's dry. I think they learned a lesson quite a few years ago in a race that, that they really make sure the track's dry when they go now. Go to Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. I've got two questions for you, Joey. Uh, first off, you, you kind of referenced last week with Bristol. Obviously, that situation was an accident, but what's the competition meeting like you know, the following week, or is it just very short because there's, there's nothing to talk about about Bristol? We didn't have one because there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> it's just kind of like, what are we going to talk about? But, um, you know, I had, a, I had a meeting with my team and just kind of go over what, what went through the weekend. Um, you know, but we, we didn't really talk much as, as a team um, just because there wasn't much to, to go over after, a, you know, a fairly short run. But um, everything's fine. You know, we're, you know, Brad and I talked about it. I mean, it's, it's not like it obviously didn't mean to do it. You know, we were in both our days. It wasn't just mine. And uh, um, it was a tough, tough gig. But, uh, you know, we were able to, um, you know, take some things out of that weekend. You know, I think the the damage repair that the team did was really good. Um, I think we showed it. We had a really fast car afterwards. And that makes it more frustrating is when you can go out there and run with these guys, which uh, you just don't want to be that guy racing with them when you're 50 laps down and making enemies out there either. So, um, But, you know, I think the practice that the guys got to, to work on the car, and um, because we didn't necessarily have to do that because we have the win and all that, but we get practice for when we have to do that, if that comes up, hopefully it doesn't. But if it does, uh, it gives the guys a little bit of practice to, to repair cars and um, you know get back out there as quick as we can. Second question is, can you talk about a uh, or describe uh, maybe the most difficult time you ever had in a car in your racing career, where it was you're, you're making deals with yourself just to get to the finish, and just how tough it was, and why it was, and just kind of, I guess, give me a sense of what that was like and how you got through it and, and the challenges of, in that particular situation? Um, I usually have a pretty good time inside the car. Um, but sometimes I, I'm thinking really back earlier in my, my Sprint Cup career when we weren't doing very good and you you run some of these racetracks and these cup races were so long, you know, and you're you're running out there and you're running three or four laps down and you're just frustrated because you don't have any speed. Those are the worst ones. Um you know, last week was tough too. Is you you were sitting in a rain delay, ready to go back out 50 laps down. And you're like, this is gonna be a great day. But um, yeah, that's just that's our sport. Uh, you know, I think inside the car, you gotta be mentally tough all day, uh, no matter what. Uh, I think you know my team <clears throat> works their guts off, you know, all week long. Um, to, to give us a fast race car and, and it's the least I can do no matter what the situation is is to drive the car as hard as I possibly can no matter what the situation brings to me um, so uh, you know I'm trying to think of the toughest one I, I don't know if there's the one toughest one that points out Atlanta a few years ago I had food poisoning most of the weekend um, and I couldn't I didn't practice my car or, or, or qualify it or anything so uh, I started in the back and um, you guys know how, how long Atlanta is. <laughs> this is one of the summer nights. So that was, uh, I remember in the middle of that run, you know, not really having much energy left because, you know, you, you just don't eat much after you, you feel sick like that. And um, halfway through your run, I, was, I came over the room, I'm like, hey, so, someone talk to me. I need a little bit of help here. I need a little motivation. But um, it ended up being all right. We'll go to Stan and finish up in the back. Stan Greekmore with RPM Tonight.com, Joey. As you took your practice today and everything, where's the part of the track where you feel really comfortable, and what part of the track do you think is going to be the most challenging for you when it comes to qualifying? When it comes to qualifying, um, you know, I talked with Todd, you know, before before we get here, and, and each week we kind of prioritize certain parts of the corner, which part is going to be the, where it makes the speed. Um, and really, Richmond is one of those places that you have to be good everywhere. You know, it's not like, okay, we, if we have a good exit, we can afford to give up a little bit here. You pretty much got to be good about everywhere here. It's definitely center and exit or probably the two that you really stand out. Um, but you still got to have a decent ed- ex- entry uh, to be able to, um, you know, make good speed and, and, and not be able to, you know, you don't want to be turning right into the corners. It's not ever a comfortable feeling. And, and you usually miss your line when that happens. And, uh, and a lot of times you, you just, you're shocking the front tires by the time you turn the wheel. So, um, 
you know, it, it's definitely a compromise type of racetrack uh, where you can't just say we're going to be great here and, and give up something else. We just got to try to find a way to make it all good, um, you know, and, 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 you know, exit's probably the least important in qualifying, but in the race, it's probably the most important, you know, so just kind of it flip flops depending on what you're trying to do on the racetrack. Joey, Matt Estridge from the NBC station here in town, defending champion of this race. Just generally speaking, when you've won somewhere, how does it change how you view, you know, when you kind of roll into the track here? And, and I guess, you know, more specifically here at Richmond, I mean, how does that kind of affect your, your confidence level here, knowing that you've been to victory lane? It helps, for sure. Um, I, I looked at Richmond, you know, in the past as one of my toughest racetracks. Uh, yet we got a win uh, here in the spring. We had a decent run in the fall. We weren't great. Um, I think we finished sixth. We ran top five most of the day, but um, we weren't a threat to win the race. Uh, in, in the spring, we definitely were. Uh, the tires changed since then. So we're just, uh, you know, obviously trying to figure out this tire, try to figure out how we get back to where we were in the spring um, with the changes that have been made with the, you know, the race car and the tire. Um, and and I, I feel like we're, we're close. I feel like there's another step we got to find here. Um, you know, I, I feel like in practice we're a top five car, but just barely. You know, I don't feel like we're quite the winning car yet. We need to... Uh, you know, go over it a little bit tonight. It's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm running the uh, Xfinity race is, is just to get some more laps and be able to, um, you know, get a little bit better at this racetrack, understand a couple different things I want to try personally as a driver to see if uh, that pays off in, in long runs or short runs and stuff like that.